Hello, it's Mary Lou here, and I have a journal I want to share with you. But first, let me tell you that this is a design team project for Laura from The Papered Soul on Etsy. She has an awesome shop, has lots of things to offer crafters and journal makers, and so you should go check her out, The Papered Soul on Etsy, and it's Laura. Okay, let me tell you about this journal. Um... I created a kit last year called Felicity, and um, then I was um, at my local hospice thrift store um, right after I'd made the kit, and I found this blouse, and this is that blouse. This is one of the side panels of the blouse, because I took the front of the, the blouse and made a, um, a kit out of it. So, or I mean, a cover out of it. So this is um, a seven and a half by five and a half inch cover. It is made. I sandwiched this piece of fabric um, and a piece of muslin, and between them, I put a hundred and ten pound card stack, uh, card stock, and Tyvek, and then I stitched all the way around and down. What did I stitch? Right down each side, right here, right down the sides. There's the back, if you can see that. It has eyelet ties with a hug snug seam binding. On the front, besides all the beautiful decorations that were already on it, I wrapped lace all the way around the back. And I put this large piece of lace and then this applique butterfly, lace applique butterfly. This is the very front of the blouse. And so what I did is I, I made sure I connected those two all the way down, and then um, I was able to glue it together. I did a hidden spine, so there's no stitches coming through. They are done on another piece of cardstock. So it's got multiple layers of 110-pound cardstock. Um, it is one and a half inch. It has two signatures. This is what I would call a clean journal. Uh, I didn't use any uh, um, tea dyed or coffee dyed papers. I simply used, oh, I was going to get that tablet. Um, it's called Rhodia dot pad. I used vellum. I used my usual Red River photo mat, 28 pound, and then I used copy paper. I used 65 pound Nina cardstock. Um, so that's what I used. And I think I told you about the cover. Let me see if there's anything else I want to tell you. No, that's it. I did do some stamping and stenciling. I'll put all this down below as well. Let me take you inside. There are eyelets here. So it is a semi, you know, it's semi-flexible, but it is cardstock. So it's, you can see it lays nice and flat. It has a, one of my tall skinny pockets here. So this is the inside of the front cover. It has, I should say, 66 pages counting fronts and backs and um, the front and back inside covers. But there are, are booklets inside and notepads, so it, it's well beyond that. But inside, there's this. And I forgot to, I'm going to stamp this journal belongs to on the back here because I didn't make a card this time. There's the first page. And and Felicity, there's a card in here that will show you more. But it's basically speaking of, um, of happiness. Okay, there's the inside where you can do some journaling. Here is a partial page of grid. And inside the little belly band is one of the notepads. This has the Rhodia dot paper in there. Can you see that? Can you see the dots? I don't know, but it is sewn together with a three-hole pamphlet stitch. I did some stamping. There's some pretty... Oh, let me go back real quick. <clears throat> yes, these doilies are from Laura's shop. Um, so that's one of the things she sent me. And then um, there's some, this is the vellum page. And then here's the first page, or the second page within the signature. 
And I'm going to stop right here because I forgot to mention something very important. I designed this kit, this called Felicity. And while I was making this journal, I had to make a bunch of other things because the the kit didn't have, I, you know, I like to stuff my journal. So, and I like to have plenty to work with. So I, while I was creating this journal, I was creating other elements. And so I've now put up on my Etsy, I did it a day or so ago, an add-on kit. And the add-on kit is actually larger than the kit itself, but the kit has all the pages. I did give you some pretty papers, which are the ones that I used for vellum. So whether you want to use them for a real page, you know, a signature page or vellum is up to you. Anyway, those both those kits are available in my in my Etsy shop. A little side commercial. Okay. So here's a page. There's uh two pockets here. There's a little tag and then there's a little ticket that I designed with a butterfly on it. And then down here there's a stamp. There's a pretty little tag. And then there's an, a tiny envelope. It's not tiny, tiny, but it's little. And inside it is another little card and um, a piece of the, the rod Rodia, I think that's how you pronounce it, paper pad. Okay, and so that's in there. I loved working with these colors because not only did it make me happy but it was very serene and peaceful working with this kit it just kind of fell together and I enjoyed that I did hear some stenciling here's a little bit of stamping a clean page with a little bit of stamping here and here here's what I call an uptuck okay and in it there's this long tag and it's talking about butterflies it's a poem from 1919. And then this is a calendar I designed. And so there's, um, it's a perpetual can calendar. So you could change the month and write in pencil if you wanted to, or just use it up. And then here's a pocket on this side. There's a tag from the kit, from my kit. There's, this is a guest check. This is a new style that Laura started carrying, or new to me. It's very vintage. And what I did was I did a lot of um, printing on vellum. And then I fussy cut out, not tightly up against it, but just loosely around curves. I don't ever like to put corners because corners don't stay stuck as much as a, a round curve would. So there's that. I thought that made that really pretty without taking away from the guest check itself. Did I show you this? This is just a, a long tag or card. Okay, and there's a blank page and another blank page onto which I paper clipped. Turn the page. A very large envelope, still within that botan botanical um, look. And there's nothing in there, so I left that for you to fill. So you can put some of your treasures in there or keepsakes. I put ribbon on the edge of all the paper clips. There's some more stenciling and stamping, and I did uh, fussy cut up a butterfly and put that on there. Butterflies are in the kit. You flip the page. There's a charm of a butterfly hanging here and on a bulb pin. And these are envelopes that I get from Laura's shop. I punch a hole and put um, an eyelet through it because I like hanging dangles off of these little pockets. Inside the pocket itself, the little envelope itself, is this tag, or card, sorry, a journaling card. And then, whoops. And as you can see, whoops, I'm catching something. All right, I'll leave it out for a minute. As you can see on the front, I um, fussy cut out another um, butterfly out of vellum. In the back is this large card, and it slides right back behind there. Well, it's supposed to. Is it going to? All right, we'll just slide it right in here. It slides in that same pocket. And then here's a little kind of like a card or booklet. That's probably what I was hanging up to, so I'll put it back there. There's another lined page and some more botanicals. There's the other side of that vellum sheet and the other side of the doily from Laura's shop.
some more of the dotted rhodia paper. Here's um, another kind of a pocket, but it's not glued down, so it's just something you can journal in there. And um, in there, I put another booklet, but this is like a notepad. So you can write, I put eight sheets in there, plus the very bottom sheet is the same thing in cardstock. So that gives you a, a firmer base to, to write on. And here I put a, a blue piece of, of the paper and then um, one of the fussy cut vellum sheets of small, small features of the kit. Here's a postcard that I created still staying in that botanical and butterfly theme and in the blues. And then here's a seed packet style card or envelope with a spread your wings and fly card in it. Put the paper clip back on. You could glue that down if you want to make it a pocket or just let it be a flip. Then on this side, there's a little bit of stamping and then your ribbon on a paper clip and there's a card the green grass and the happy skies court the butterfly the fluttering butterflies and that's lined so you can journal there and there's some more journaling space that's the end of the first signature and on to the second i loved this this is a large glassine envelope from laura's shop and again what i did was i printed this image i enlarged it and printed it on vellum Look how beautiful that, I just think that's stunning. And so because I put a card in there, I turned it backwards. It's the same thing, but it's not going the same way. So I didn't want to distract and make it make you blur, feel like you were blurry visioned. So we did that. And then behind here is this take note card with a, a tab so you can pull it out easier. And then there's this one. I just love these blue and white. I think it's so crisp and yet calming and peaceful. Here's a lined uh, bag from Laura's shop, and I thought that was great. I didn't want to do anything, but I did decide to put some vellum on it. I thought that looked really pretty. In this pocket is a Rolodex style card that I um, printed. That It's available in the add-on kit in this blue and I just added a fussy cut butterfly there. And here's another card with a poem from Hans Christian Andersen about butterflies. And there's the other side. I did the same thing. There's a doily, a pretty invoice. These are from Laura's shop. And then there's a vellum sheet and a lined sheet and lined on that side. Here's a pocket I fussy cut from one of the pages from the kit. And inside, I put this tall tag. And then this beautiful tag that's new in the add-on kit. And then this envelope. And it's got what I was referring to earlier. Felicity. Um, one, A, the quality or state of being of, hap of being happy. B, an instance of happiness. Some, and two, something that causes happiness. So it's just a happy journal. Put it in the right way. Then again, here's another. I put two large envelopes in this, so there's that one. And it's paper clipped over the page like I showed you. Let me pull that tighter. There you go. So there's writing space underneath. This is my only homage to a vintage journal is I put in an, a kind of a creamy colored ledger sheet because this is a junk journal. And um, there again is a, a paper clip and that flips open so you can journal all in there or you can glue it down if you prefer. And then it's got this large card that you can journal on. And then here's another a poem and uh, lined spaces to journal on. Okay. On this side, and this is the center of the signature, I did put hearts on my strings. There's a little tiny pocket here. This is a, a little envelope from Laura's shop. 
I usually leave this up, but I folded it down this time so I could put a tiny little tag in there. And back inside, if I can get it out without destroying everything, there's a pretty blue card um, with those vellum small features on there. And then back here is a little tiny card there. And this, I accidentally cut off the calendar, so you can do either way. You can either leave this attached to the calendar or cut it off as I accidentally did. You can do it on purpose if you want to. There's another little spot to write notes. And in the envelope is some more things to write on. There's a card. And then there's a piece of ephemera. It's a registered letter or parcel, New York City, New York. It's a, it was eight, it's dated 1886. So there's a nice, and I, I tinged it the blue that, that matched the kit because I thought that would look prettier. I was on a blue roll. I was on a roll with blue, whatever. Anyway, that was fun. Okay, and then on this side, we have more journaling space, of course, and more here. A little bit of stenciling there. And this is a, um, a regular envelope like you would send your, uh, when you need to pay a bill, you send your money and the receipt in. I put a, a pretty butterfly charm on there, on a bulb pin. And inside here, this is in the add-on kit, is a little mini folder see it looks like a folder and you open it up and inside there's a couple of cards there actually was a, a tag in here so i don't know if it fell out on my desk or whatever but there's another little tag that goes in here and then up here is a, a card with a tab on it or a tag with a tab on it there we go and there's a vellum sheet and the pretty um, pretty doily from Laura's shop. And then some more of that rhodia paper. Here's the other side of the the bag. It's got an envelope in it. it says Felicity. And you open it up and it's the same thing. So you get a card that you can journal on that says the same thing as the front does. And if they go in right, they don't make you dizzy. They line up pretty well. Well, I'm not going to take the time now, but they do line up because I had it that way. Okay. And there's another pretty sheet. I actually put, I don't know how I did it because it was smaller than the hole I put here, but there was a tiny hole here. So I thought, fine, I'll put it, you know, us crafters, we fix our, our messes with a something pretty. So there's a something pretty. Here's another glassine envelope from Laura's shop that I also put a butterfly on. Let me take things out so you can see them. There's um in the in the envelope itself, there's this little card with botanicals, but you can see this is vellum. And I give you all these little elements in in the kit. I think that might be the tag, but anyway, there's a card. Whoops, get it out. There's a card and a tag, and then there's another postcard. And it's dated, I can't read it. It doesn't show. It's something with an eight. Anyway, there it goes in there. There's the last page of the journal. And there's the pocket on the back of the back of the, the inside of the back cover. There's the other large tag that's in the new kit, in the add-on kit. A little label from the original kit and a pocket. Okay. This journal is already sp spoken for. Um, and so, um, I'm, I've decided to give it to, um, my, my son and daughter-in-law are visiting for the weekend and, um, she saw it and she loved it. And I think she wants to give it to her daughter. So this is going to her daughter, uh, my granddaughter. Um, so who's a teenager. So she, I hope she'll love it. It's, it's not vintage. So it's more, it's got some vintage elements, but it's, more of a clean journal. Anyway, don't forget to stop by 
Laura's shop, the papered sole, and give her a howdy doody, say hi. If you buy anything, say hi and tell her Mary Lou sent you. Also, don't forget that this kit is in my shop. I'll have the links down below for the kit and the add-on kit so that you can go take a look at them. You have a great day. Bye-bye now. Thanks for stopping by.